This is Erica Lopez and Ty Dickinson from the University of Oklahoma Weather Lab through a weekly regional forecast starting on Friday, September 29th, 2017. In this week's briefing, we will give you an update on the outlooks for the next 6 to 10 days and 8 to 14 days, an update on the drought monitor, and more information on the newly issued La Nina watch. Thanks for tuning in and let us dive in. For days 6 to 10 temperature-wise, below normal temperatures are favored along the west coast and the northwest in conjunction with an upper level trough extending from Canada into the Pacific Northwest. In this area, probabilities for below normal temperatures are around 60%. Virtually the rest of the conus is favored for above normal temperatures. These probabilities are due to a ridge over the eastern conus affecting a large portion of the central and eastern United States, along with southerly flow into the southwest. Probabilities reach over 70% for above normal temperatures for the southeast United States and extend north into the Great Lakes and New England regions. The overall circulation pattern is forecast to be very similar to days 6 to 10 with some slight weakening in the upper level features. For this reason, the overall pattern and forecast trends remains the same but with slightly lower probabilities. The Midwest and Northeast U.S. continue to stay much above normal with temperature anomalies as high as 10 degrees while the Southern U.S. is forecast to be as high as 5 degrees. In the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook, above normal precipitation probabilities affect much of the northern part of the CONUS, stretching from central California and the Pacific Northwest to the western Great Lakes. Parts of south and central Texas are also included in the stretch of above normal precipitation probabilities. This is due to the upper air trough that is forecast to affect the western part of the CONUS. Below normal pr precipitation probabilities will stay well to the eastern part of the CONUS due to the upper air ridge mentioned earlier. The 8 to 10 day precipitation outlook is very similar to days 6 to 10, with slight exception of minimal below normal precipitation due to uncertainty of the forecast ridge. The above normal precipitation probabilities also stretch across most of the conus, with probabilities as high as 50% for above normal precipitation concentrated in the northern part of the conus. Other areas with probabilities of up to 40% for above normal precipitation include Texas and Florida. Shifting to the drought monitor, dry conditions now extend across north central Texas as short term impacts are being noticed in agriculture, such as grass drying and turning brown. While the small D2 region in west central Texas was removed since last week, D1 drought was extended down into Brownsville on the rest of southern Texas. In addition, dry areas are expanding along the Mississippi and Alabama border. Earlier this month, the Climate Prediction Center issued a La Nina watch for the upcoming winter. The image shows typical locations of the Pacific and polar jet streams along the typical conditions seen during a wintertime La Nina. The majority of the, south, of the southern U.S. experiences a warmer and drier winter. Colder conditions move into the northern plains along with cooler and wetter winters in the northwest. Lastly, the Midwest and southern Great Lakes typically have wetter conditions. We will continue to monitor the latest and expected conditions moving forward and share any news as soon as we can. Once again, this podcast has been brought to you by the University of Oklahoma Weather Lab, a top academic and research program and partner of the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program. Watch for your forecast Fridays on the Oklahoma Weather Lab channel on YouTube.